Um, I first met Silky when I signed up for her Reiki tra training and um, I'd heard about her from some friends and some of her healing um, and I wanted to learn more about Reiki and so I kind of impromptu signed up for one of her classes and um, as part of that process we have to meet with her and have a healing session with her before we start the training and I remember that first healing session I had with her and I just um, fell in love with energy healing. I just fell in love with how it made me feel and her energy and her, um, I just really looked forward to learning from her. And so uh, I signed up for uh, Reiki, Reiki One, and um, just went from there. And I now have gone through uh, Reiki Two and the Reiki Master Training with her. And um, it was just an incredible learning experience for me and a spiritual growing experience for me. Um, it really opened up a door to my spiritual learning and healing that I kind of cracked open when I was younger and I just I kind of I think I closed it on my own for several years and really just in the last few years um, since working with Silky have that has that door opened again and I've really um, grown and learned and, and just loved my experiences with her. Um, I am not always able to watch the weekly live videos when they're live, but I do appreciate that they are put up on the site in their archives so I can go back and watch them. And I have been able to be there live um, and I have gone back and watched them and I, I do enjoy them. I do enjoy um, the opportunity to ask questions and to listen to the other questions that women have come up with that I never thought of or you know so I, I enjoy that interaction too that um, and then being able to go back and reference them I really enjoyed too because I know that there's been a few I've even watched more than once um, because I wasn't able to watch it at the moment but having them there and being able to go back and reference something that Silky said or that another group member said or um, to get the name of you know something that was mentioned I remember going back and doing that and um, I think that those have been very helpful. And it's a way to communicate with Silky Weekly that makes you kind of feel like you are part of this group, a membership group. I mean, you are an active member of it. So. I had to make the decision to invest in myself, really. Um, I don't always choose myself first. And um, being a mother and just my personality type, I always put others before myself. And so I think that the biggest obstacle was really just making that decision that I was worth investing in the time and the money and the energy and the space to do this for myself monthly. And I do try to really keep up with the monthly um, you know, meditations that Silky puts out there, the books she recommends that we read. Um, in fact, I'm working through the, this month's right now. And um, and the, the kind of practices that she has off, you know, kind of guided us through with the vision board. And um, so it's not something that I just wanted to be a member of, a passive member of. I'm actually trying to really, you know, overcome any self-doubt or any resistance to participating by really putting myself first and, and, and letting myself have this experience. I think it's being a member of Beauty Flourishing has helped me to remember to focus daily on my spiritual practices better. Um, without kind of having that community or that reminder, I can let it go. Um, I can get busy with life, I can get stressed, I can you know, let other things take precedent, but having this reminder, having this group um, has helped me to keep it more on the forefront and to really um, value my spiritual practices and um, focus on healing energies and positive energies and um, just making sure that that's an important part of my life on a daily basis. The community aspect of it has been helpful because I, I am on the quiet side and the shy side and it takes a while for me to warm up um, to talking with new people and especially on a level that you want to dive into in a group like this. This is, you know, spirituality is a very personal 
um, experience, I think. But when you join a group like this, where other women are very open about speaking about what they believe and what they practice, and I think it really that has really encouraged me to be more open and talk more about my beliefs and experiences. And I really draw strength from other people's uh, stories and other people's experiences. So um, even if I don't you know, write a response to somebody's message or I don't, um, maybe I haven't asked a question ahead of time in a video, but I listen and I really appreciated that community aspect of it, that we have a safe place to share and learn from each other. My favorite parts about the membership, uh, I, I really enjoy the uh, meditations that come out every month. Um, those have been very helpful for me and I do like the videos, I like the Facebook Lives. Like I said, even though I can't be on them live every week, I do like watching them and I do like um, the interactions, the questions that are asked and, and um, kind of having Silky talk to us every week about a new topic or sharing her stories or um, kind of leading us through a, a new experience is, just keeps it fresh and alive and, and keeps, keeps um, me wanting to come back. Well, I think I would tell um, any woman who might be hesitant to join the group that um, it's a safe place where we can share um, our stories and our feelings, uh, open up about spirituality. I would think that there's just, I haven't seen or felt any judgment from anybody. Um, we don't all believe exactly the same, and I think that that's a good thing. I think we all share um, our experiences from our different lives and our different beliefs, and we are able to create a space where we learn from each other and we can appreciate the differences as well as the um, commonalities that we have. Um, and we're all here to learn and um, create more, I think, positive energy in our lives and in our homes and in our families and to really learn, I think kind of as the name implies, to appreciate the beauty that we see around us every day that I know myself can, when I get too, just let life overwhelm me or get too stressed or just overwhelmed or I forget to see that and I forget to look for it. And so one thing that I've Notice since I've been a member of Beauty Flourishing is to look for that, you know, to look for it more often, be more aware of the beauty around me and the positive energy, and to make sure that you know I keep that going. So if you're on the fence at all about it, you need to come join us, and it's great, and it's you'll know, make great new friends, and you'll learn a lot, and you will enjoy every moment of it.